Hello everyone. I am really excited today to make this video. I think these are becoming some of my personal favorites. Uh, this is going to be a Discord review uh, for Dreamlight Valley. So basically everything that you guys have been posting in my Discord to make it essentially enough to be a video. I think you guys have overdone it this time and I love you for it. It just means I've got to start making maybe two a month now instead of just one. So hopefully everybody enjoys the video today. If you guys do, make sure you give it a big Mickey thumbs up. Of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on that notification bell as well. So I'm going to do a little self promo here. Okay. If you guys want to participate in this. This is going to be the best way to do it because I love seeing pictures like this. This totally makes my day um, to be able to share this kind of content with you guys. But if you guys want access to my discord, um, it's currently for Kitty Team members only, so you do need to become um, a member on YouTube uh, to my channel just one time for one month, and then you guys uh, do have access to Discord forever. Uh, you guys can also do it for free if you guys have Amazon Prime, so you guys can log on to Twitch and just become um, a subscriber on there. So it's pretty easy to do if you guys want access to this and to be able to share some stuff that is going on in your valley. But uh, anyways, I'm so happy to be able to share photos like these. This particular one is gorgeous. And I don't have this little guy yet. This little guy right here. So apparently, I think he's part of like a quest. Someone can correct me in the comment section below. But I think that's kind of where he comes from. Um, I haven't gotten, I don't think, that far. I'm hoping it's like a quest post Gaston becoming a 10. Um, I literally am doing that stream in no time at all like in the next hour so maybe it'll come up tonight but I don't know um I'm just really excited about it but we'll see what he has to do with uh yeah this is a gorgeous dream snaps by the way Sven stunning um I am loving all the toy story pizza planet is amazing now this is <laughs> this is a toy story room this is a kid that has been having some serious, serious fun. I'm actually going to be doing a remodeling of my Toy Story room inside my house very, very soon. I do already have the stream scheduled, so uh, you guys can feel free to check out my my um, my stream schedule on YouTube, and you guys will be able to click it directly from there. Uh, it isn't scheduled for like another week or something like that, um, but it is something I'm really looking forward to doing. And I think I I like this whole jacket with. Uh, with the, the woody pole on it. I think that is a great touch, 100%. I love it. It's great. So cool. Um, So what happened here? Is this <laughs> Toy Alien Graveyard or essentially you are the one, right? The claw, basically. Ooh, the claw. <laughs> That's what it, it kind of looks like to me. This is crazy. Um, what is this? Brush is buried in the grove in the wild tangle. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, here's the spot for the treasure. Oh, I remember. So this was actually a quest while I was streaming. That's crazy. Uh, scans and biome. Scans the area in the biome when placed. Oh, the ancient vacuum. I, I'm still learning about these things here. I do need a lot more mist, though, so that will definitely be some stuff uh, stuff to do in the next couple of weeks for sure. Uh, Time-bending gifts. So this is actually a pretty useful chart. I'm not sure if it's, it's not coming up probably big enough, but I will definitely make it bigger here. Um, but just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at so you can get a whole bunch of different items deadly nightshades dingle hoppers um there's an embossed book from beauty and the beast so there's a whole list of them here that you can get um increased drop chances when accompanied by these characters uh, which is actually very interesting i did not know that that was the case um but this is actually super useful so i've i've managed to get i believe all of these items but i think like the grubby log for example i don't have more than five so it could just be something to do um to do with the fact I don't have Simba or Nala accompanying me. But at the same time, the time bending, um, you would basically need your characters to all be sort of uh, have their specialty being time bending. So, I mean, this is this is a very useful thing. Um, but it, and it also gives you a general idea of what you can expect when you're looking around your valley. 
Ah, I did make a Vanilla Bee's racetrack. I did a speed build for that. I just kind of threw it in um, my Discord there. If you guys want to check that out, it is on the channel for everyone to see. I lost 100k Dreamlight for crafting one pickaxe potion. <laughs> Are you serious? Do they like up the cost on that? Ugh. Um, the first Wednesday in February, I'm doing my next multiplayer, so I will be going to you guys' valleys, and hopefully I will be making some videos, uh, in future with some of you guys' valleys if they, uh, you know, I don't want to say they, like, if they blow me away, I, I basically want to do, like, a video, um, on some of the ideas that you guys kind of do, and different, uh, ways to kind of set up. I think it is really important. Maybe it, if you guys aren't really into decorating, you could have something amazing in your shop that I'm sort of looking for. Or maybe there'll be some like really funny moments um, in there. So those are just a couple of things I'm sort of looking for uh, for that sort of thing. If you guys don't decorate, it would be like, oh, I went to this person's valley, you know, for the, the shop type of thing. Um, not 100% sure how it'll be like totally laid out if I'll incorporate multiple into one or what. But to give you guys a heads up that you, and you don't need to be kitty members or anything for that um, for that aspect. But you guys will have the chance if you guys are to post pictures from the visits inside of the Discord, which will show up here if uh, there has been any more. I know last time there was some and I thought it was super cool. Uh, what I've seen in the past few weeks. Oh, gosh. That is a, like, a crossbreed of Jack Skellington, Anna, Moana, and Scrooge. Uh, I don't know if Donald's in there, maybe too. Or, or what's going on, but that is, uh, I don't think so. But that is quite something. <laughs> quite scary, if you ask me. Got the last rabbit! Yay, Summer, congratulations! Oh, this is cute. Okay. I love this star. I need this star. I don't understand why this star isn't in my shop. If anybody happens to see this 100%, please let me know that it is in your shop and I will make an exception and come to your valley just to buy it, okay? Um, even if I'm not streaming that day or whatever, like, please spam me in the messages. I have been looking for this for ages now and I really need it. I want it so bad, especially before I do my Toy Story room. So <laughs> that would be great. I mean, it's possible I won't, but if you guys happen to come across it, I would, and you guys don't need it, I would super appreciate uh, you guys let me know. 900. Woo -woo. Okay, that's better than, than what I did that week. Let's see. Oh, that's a, such a cute picture. Oh, I love the combo. Super cute. And I love that you added the toy aliens, Pizza Planet. Maui's having a good time back there. That is quite the setup, Marco. <gasps> oh, oh my God! That's the that's the um, the whimsical raven. Oh my God! It's almost like invisible there. That's that was trippy. Wow! I really gotta come to your valley. This is this is amazing. I love what I'm seeing. Disneyland vibes for sure. For sure. Oh my gosh. Sven, you really do take some amazing pictures 4,000 moonstones a day at Disney so this is why this girl gets the moonstones I mean the first picture that was up on the screen that was her too look at this one I am telling you she not only knows how to decorate but she knows how to decorate to take pictures I think this is something I don't do particularly well is I may do I love how I decorate my valley. I, I really do. I think it's been such a blast. However, I don't think I do it well enough for pictures or I just don't know how to do the pictures very well. Um, I don't know if it's a console thing or just struggling in general. I've tried it on the PC to take a picture and it was an absolute disaster. So <laughs> I'm assuming uh, it's just me, but like that is just gorgeous. That is seriously gorgeous. Okay, let's see what we got here. 600. Okay. Let's see the picture for it. Cute. I love the, the little winter toque with it. People don't wear the toques enough. They don't have enough colors. I think that's their base issue because that toque is seriously cute. The pink ice cream stand. Do I have the pink one? I know I got a blue and I think one other color. I think red. But I don't know if I have pink. Hmm, I'm going to have to look into this. Um, if not, then I guess I got some exciting things. My dream snap submission for this week. 
That is quite the outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dream snaps. Okay, this little area here. I think this is Henry's, right? I'm just going to double check before I go talking. Yeah, it is. So I visited his valley. And I stood right, right there. And he's got this like row of these gorgeous sort of arcs. And this is from the, the previous star path that has ended now. Um, the winter one, which is amazing. And... Oh, I got to do something like this. I think for pictures, this is like a dream right there. And I think like if you could do some very, very easy dream snap successful like shots there just by doing that kind of thing in your valley. I loved it. It looks so, so pretty. It doesn't necessarily appease from a distance. So like maybe you got to like put a tree or two like around there to kind of blend it maybe. But um, when you're like up close and you're in that sort of dome of those arcs, it's just like, whoa, it makes everything look so cool. This is... This is awesome. I love the Christmas tree. Um, I love that you got the rainbow fox too. Let's see. What did you get? 600. I think I think you deserved a few more than that. I forgot to take a photo of my first dream snaps, but this is what I got as my reward. 1,500. Ooh, this is definitely Jackie. Jackie is the newest member to the kitty community. Thank you very much for becoming a kitty team member. And uh, so basically Jackie has been a wonderful contributor to the discord already i have enjoyed her her posts and stuff like that so so much um you know what this was actually i'm like wait a second i got this recently this is actually my post i just took a picture with my phone um i was so excited i was like i have to send it <laughs> i was freaking out i was like so so happy um oh look congrats it's amazing yeah i know i know Oh, I, I've been waiting for that one for her for so, so long. Custom dress. Oh, my gosh. It's figment. That is so cute. I just have to say they got to have custom dresses that you can like share with your friends or something like that. Like maybe if you go into someone's house, um, they can have a mannequin and then essentially you go up to the mannequin and you can put on whatever is on their mannequin. And then that way, if you're wearing it and you leave to go back to your valley, you could put it on a mannequin as well. It doesn't necessarily give you the dress, but it gives you the option to put it on a mannequin in your house. Um, and I think that that could be a great way to incorporate some people's sort of custom dresses without taking up slots in the custom design area because there's only so many slots that are actually there right now. Um, but yeah, I just think that that, that is, has got to be something that – they incorporate. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about that. But I have seen some like really amazing. This is actually a really good shot of it. Um, some really, really amazing pictures and stuff like that online, on Discord, like my Discord and also on Reddit and stuff for Dreamlight Valley. It is, it's been amazing what people do with that, that touch of magic tool. It's wild. I, I love it so, so much. What a great job. <laughs> and especially Figment too. Like I feel like nobody, nobody's done that with Figment yet. These are cute. Here's my valley. You know what? Most of it is the same, but also different. I was going to say that it, it has, it definitely has vibes of my valley. I, I know like I have a garden here, but yeah, she's done like the row of pumpkins. What? That's so cool. That is seriously so cool. And I love this setup, okay? I, I just think it's so pretty having these between Mickey and Minnie and having all these berries around. It's very efficient. It is maybe not the most efficient if you're like, okay, I'm just coming in here for gold. But it still gets the job done. And it gets it jo the job done extremely well. And it looks really, really pretty. So um, I'm glad to see that uh, <laughs> that some of my, my designs are coming in the valley. Look! Oh my gosh, I've been really looking forward to this. You did mention actually, Jackie, that this was something that you had done and I am so happy I've gotten to see this. It's like, it is, it's like the same but different, but it's just inspired by my valley. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the kitchen too. Oh my God, that's amazing. These stools are the best for the kitchens. They they really are, they they blow my mind. And having that, that sun mirror in the background is just, is amazing. So cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love all the recipes you put on the counter as well. Just be careful when people come to your house. They can always steal your food, right? <laughs> it's just one of those things. My pizzas always go missing. Before Pizza Planet had an attraction, um, I made a Pizza Planet area of my own. And I line up pizzas there. 
<laughs> and there's a couple of pizza themes. <laughs> it's okay. I, I said it was fine, but um, yeah, it's it's funny as heck when my pizza goes missing. In real life, that would be a serious offense. That would be that would be criminal. Wow, lots of uh, combos going here. Do 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 do. What do we got here? Cow, my frozen. That's super cute. I love the outfit. Dream snap submission. You must have done pretty well there. My Toy Story submission. 2,500 moonstones. Forgot to actually save it and the re the rewards. That is a really great room. I love it. I can see why you did so well. Oh, the blue faced monkey. The blue faced monkey. They fixed my monkey glitch in the aisles. Maybe yours is too. I'm going to have to check out today, actually. Oh, and there's, see, this is a submission from the start. Oh, I love that she posted it again. Thank gosh. 2,500 moonstones. That is amazing. <gasps> oh, Anna's going to be upset. <laughs> I just went back to that same spot from my last submission and added some pink and brought my boyfriend with me. <laughs> that is seriously adorable. This is, this is the kind of stuff we live for, right? Whoa, I think I'm going with this for my submission, except the digging spots needs to be dug and maybe a few bushes. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is going to work real nice for submission. That's going to do super well. My shopping videos, quests, aha, storage room. Okay, so this is something that I need to concentrate on, um, I guess maybe on the weekend or early next week. I tried, instead of doing the decorating um, earlier in the week, like I was kind of planning to, I decided to try the new Pal World game, and uh, it was quite addictive. So, yeah, I decided to kind of do that and sort of uh, realize that I need to come up with a way to store food items, which I think I'm going to do with a separate kitchen thing. So that design is still formulating. I've got, I think, like maybe 60% in my head done, but I feel like it's not fully formed yet. So it could be one of those things I just have to kind of do it and then the rest comes. But I like to try and be sort of organized with what I want to do, even if it changes. This is great. I love the storage system. So we've been really talking about that, um, the storage system and how it sort of works and what the best way to do things is. And honestly, it's really tough to do storage um, with this game, especially if you're gonna move it from different rooms and stuff, it is very chaotic. So, uh, you know, be smart with what you want and kind of plan it out. You need to plan it out now. If you go in there and just wing it, it's too difficult. Get some inspo from other people. Um, you can get some inspo from me if you wanna ask like, you know, anything like what I'd recommend. Like I'd be more than happy to help if you guys are having trouble with that because I know it's a big job and something I've even been putting off for a while because of the um, Eternity Isle update. So yeah, this is so pretty. Holy smokes. I wonder how many gold bars you use to make this path. <sighs> what do we think? Like a hundred? I'm gonna go with a hundred. I'm gonna go with 100. That at least seems like something. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about. This girl, she knows how to take pictures in her freaking valley. I don't even know how to get a shot like that. But I love it with Belle's dress. It's so pretty. That's like literally what it's made for. It's like a pose like that. Aww. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Oh, I see Gaston got a, a very small little area with the LeFou coconuts. Oh, I love it. Holy smoke. This is in your forest of valor, I'm guessing. It looks like it. Very well done. Gorgeous, as always. Oh, my God. Your storage room is coming so nice. This is definitely Jackie's. Yeah. This is my flower room for now. I have to collect all the flowers again. That's right. So she sold all of her flowers and just decided to start from scratch. So that's very interesting. Um... I don't think I like I just couldn't do that. I know I'd probably make a lot of money doing that, but uh oh man, I am I'm the worst. I hoard things like crazy. I'm afraid to run out even though I know I could just go out there and get it, but if for decorating stuff and like building paths, it's like you just need to have a lot of stuff in storage as extra. This is a great gem storage thing. I love the counters with the gems. I was going to do that myself. Um I still might incorporate some 
some items on the outsides of the chests in, in my current room um, because it's too vague, but that'll be something I do for next time. Oh my gosh, this is an updated picture. Flowers are finished for now. Wow, that is that is amazing. So I would love to do something similar like this and have it as a greenhouse and secondary storage to like flowers or something. I don't know. Uh, I have to formulate another idea because I, I think, again, if I'm not going to put any out on display, um, it is going to pose some issues of remembering exactly what chess box everything's in because they don't have enough custom pictures, which I hope they do for the signs because I decided to use those, those white signs and um, they take a lot of softwood. Heads up. But um, yeah, I used a whole bunch of signs and they're great. But at the same time, we need more custom options, maybe even have some of them colored if we want so that we can kind of differentiate different things. Um, and chests need to come in more colors as well. I think like we need some purples, some pinks, some gray, some orange. Like, uh, I mean, we've got a couple of basic colors, but even different shades of blue would be really nice. So we could put, you know, um, again, whether it's different flowers or we're like, okay, everything that's fish related is going to be just depending on the area. So I, I think there's still some room for improvement on the chest front. And I hope they do that sooner than later because to move things around in chests is very time consuming and very difficult. This is amazing. So it's like a little vineyard. Is this what it's called? Chateau Svinvino. <laughs> I love it. I've got to do something like that now. Uh, this is another idea I would love to do. Okay. Maybe maybe I should do something like this in my aisle. Because I actually haven't decorated with this, this cottage yet. I really want to do it. Um, but I was waiting to kind of get some more resources there. So I could make some of the new pathways. Because they do look really awesome. Uh, but I think for this particular cottage, maybe I don't need it. So I got to I gotta start thinking about that. But um, maybe once I finish the storage. So maybe that'll be something for like, you know, later in February or maybe even the beginning of March. So that'll probably be my idea then. I'm trying to mess with my storage today and struggling. Oh, no. I tried doing it with the signs but didn't like that. So I'm going with the counters. But I want to spread out. The mining and digging. Okay, so that I agree. It's the signs are great, and I, that's what I was talking about a minute ago. But they're not specific enough, so I can see where you're not liking them because I'm not liking it. So I might have to spread some of it out a bit more, which will kind of screw up my current design. So again, that's that I think that's what I'm struggling with the most, and that's why I decided to keep ingredients sort of away. So like any foods that I've actually made that I want to use for some rooms or just have in storage because whatever my reasons are. Um, and oh whatever my reasons are one more reason I should though verbally say is uh, especially like banana splits for the monkeys to feed them um, you know the pickled herring I use for the ravens and stuff like that because I want the memories right so it's it's a really big kind of job but to have to go and make all those it's like I'd rather just kind of do it in one session offline and just keep a bunch of them in storage I don't mind keeping some with me but you know again if I'm mass producing these things I think that's the better way to go so um yeah, I, there's there's a lot, I think, with the storage stuff. Um, as I said, like the 60% that I was talking about earlier is to do with the food and how that's and ingredients and stuff and how that's sort of formulating in my mind. I haven't decided if fish is going to be included in that or not. Probably will be. Um, but again, it hasn't all formulated yet. And uh, so basically it's like gems and flowers and, uh, you know, stones and, and things like that, right? That's all basically in that one room that I'm working on. Um, and yeah, again, I've got to have something where I can have something on display and you're right. That's where the counters may come in or I still have a sign, but I also have a counter or something like that somewhere, uh, to differentiate because my displays on the walls that I had in my room before worked perfectly for me and I had a total system going, but for whatever reason now that there's like all the Eternity Isle stuff, which I hadn't organized into my regular store stuff, it's... It's been really hard. So, yeah, if anybody has any tips or any ideas themselves about storage and, and stuff, it's not just ask me. It's like if you guys have anything to offer and how you guys have done anything, would love to hear about it. Okay, this video is, is approaching a little longer than I wanted, but <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll check out a few more more posts here. Oh, my gosh, this is beautiful. So this is must be a revamp. Vanellope revamp. This is amazing. Um, I think... I would consider doing something like this if I was to redesign it, if I want a, a bigger theme park, which I may decide to do in future. Um, but I think the only thing I maybe would do different is choose a different path. 
I see why you chose this one for sure, but um, I think that would be the only thing. But she went and made it kind of look like a road, so I do see um, where that came from for sure. But yeah, I, I love this idea, and I especially love like the little path here with the um, the different rugs. I think that is a is a beautiful, beautiful touch. So some some ideas for you guys to think about as well if you guys are decorating your valleys uh very easy designs as well this particular one doesn't look like it would take too too much time kept it very simple and i i love when things are simple because it means you know we can all sort of uh you know design these sort types of things as well even if you change stuff it's just keeping it simple takes less time and it also makes it fun so you know you're not looking at it going Oh, I could never do something like that, right? So keeping it simple and and clean and you can move around, but it's also super pretty and great for dream snaps. Just having the different areas can, can definitely come in handy. So yeah, hopefully everybody enjoyed the video today. If you haven't given it a thumbs up yet, please do now to show love and support, not just to the channel, but to everybody that put the, some hard... Some hard work into uh, into their photos that uh, they shared with all of us today in the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see everybody next time for my next Disney's Dreamlight Valley Discord video. Bye.